Hello and welcome back to Empire of the Sun and our playthrough video of my game, my play by email game with a gentleman named Benoit LaRose of Montreal. And um, in the last video, I played this card, it's a three card, for the ops. So I used it on CFHQ, uh, Combined Fleet Headquarters up here. So I was able to activate six units because the three ops plus the three efficiency of Combined Fleet gave me the ability to activate six units. But the problem is, is that I can only activate one battle hex, and the battle hex I want to put over there. So here, I'm chill chap. Okay, I want to destroy the Dutch air unit with the hopes that I can put an uncontested Azoi over the over the Abbey HQ to cut it off. Okay. Now this move, I what I did, I actually made a mistake here. This is actually a terrible. Um, there's a terrible uh, uh, bit of carelessness on my part. What was that carelessness? And that's this. Uh, unescorted um, half army that landed in Batavia. What I should have done was I could have this is easily have moved the carriers along with it to give it naval escort, but I forgot to do that, or I didn't think about doing that. I should say I neglected to see that he could activate this. This this becomes what they call I I, I thought to myself, oh, it's not a battle hex there, but I can just land there and he can't react to it, forgetting conveniently that since it's in, within the it's within the um, uh, Azoi of an active Dutch air unit. Um, he can actually do what's called a special reaction hex. He can actually make a battle hex there. And uh, the way he does that is he has to roll twice on the against intelligence. First time, if he passes the first time, he creates a, a battle hex here in which he was able to react with this Dutch uh, cruiser unit. The second um, intelligence die roll he has to make again. So has to make intelligence twice. The second time uh, is for general intelligence, whether he sees this coming or not. And as we can see in his move, in his um, in his movements, um, his die roll. Oh, by the way, one thing that he also does is he sets my amphib units, um, amphibious shipping points to, to one. Japanese have seven, what they call amphibious shipping points. This is what allows us to move our ship. We get seven points, so it allows us to move seven units or yeah, seven either brigades or divisions or half armies. They cost one amphibious shipping point each to move around. So he's able to do that. I I was able to move this guy. So I I I decrement my shipping amphibious shipping to from zero to one. So I lose one of the seven that I have for this turn. The allies have one right now. Next turn and every turn after that, you continue to pick one up. So the allied ASPs actually begin to pick up and will go all the way up to as many as, if I'm not, there, 12 turns, so I guess he gets up to 12 um, or 11 uh, pos uh, maximum number of ASPs, um, MTB shipping points, okay? So here we see that um, he rolls for a special reaction, and he's able to do that, because you roll the two, he should, he can, you roll the seven or less, He's able to create the battle hex that he wants. And so that's great. He's able to do that. Now he has to roll intelligence per se properly. The 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 the, the main intelligence die roll that we've been rolling uh, in previous turns. So he has to hit intelligence again. So he has to roll another seven or less. And uh, he rolls an eight. Okay, so he missed it. So you are lucky. Yes, I was. Okay, so now there is a surprise attack on Chalat Trap. Okay, so uh, what a surprise attack does is that it just gives the attacker a plus three, DR, plus three DRM. Okay, so it's very likely that I'll be able to destroy him now because, well, I think that pretty much does it. Just because I only need a half, half result to destroy him. Right, up here you see that the lowest I can get is a three because um, the lowest I can get is zero actually. But with the plus three surprise attack modifier, plus three zero plus three is three, so it's only I can actually get uh, the worst I can do is one half. And since I have forty nine factors, half of forty nine is um, twenty five because you round up. So this this guy is automatically killed, and it turns out that I'm able to roll an eight eight plus three. 11, okay, there, 8, 
8 plus 3, 11, so that destroys the area then completely. And since it's a surprise attack, he can't fire back at me and try to get a critical hit. So that's it. It's, it's gone. Okay. So he hands it over to me for a PBM or post battle movement, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Then he says, My next card is pass. He has decided to pass his next turn. Because after PBM, it's technically his turn to move. He gets the card, to play a card, but then he's decided to pass. Um, he gets two passes, actually. He gets two passes this turn. Because remember, he only has. He only got. Um, um, five cards this turn, right? So he only gets five cards this turn, so he gets two passes along with the five cards, so that he's, so he doesn't run out of cards before, uh, before, well, before I do. Okay, so he try to keep the card count up. Okay, all right. So here we are. So it's my turn again. So I'm gonna move, play another card, and this time I am going to play. I'm going to play this card right here. Okay. And this card I'm going to play for, not the military event, because although it's a military card, the military event really stinks. So I'm going to say, I'm going to tell my opponent, using for ops on CFHQ for five activations. Okay. So the reason I'm doing that again is that this sucks as a, oh wait, I have to do my PBM. Sorry, I have to do my, my, my post battle movement first. Post battle movement, sorry, this thing goes here. Um, move this thing here, I'll move this thing here, I'll move this thing mm, here and here, I guess. Okay, again, notice that I now have a, an uncontested area of zone of influence over this empty HQ. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate five units. Okay, I'm going to activate this guy here. One. I'm going to activate hmm, I'm going to activate I'm going to activate this guy. Two. Okay. One, two, three. I have to activate this guy. One, two, three. I have to activate this guy, activate this fellow here. Okay. All right. So let's see. Hmm. Okay, this might be a little tricky. This might be just a little bit tricky. Shoot. This might be a little bit tricky. Okay, what I don't, okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'm going, I'm gonna activate this guy. I'm gonna deactivate the Korean army. I'm gonna activate this Ryujo fellow, okay? And this is the reason why I'm doing this, okay? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 19th Army guy, and he is going to land at Ballot Papin, okay? And then I'm going to take this uh, Light Carrier Ryujo and put it right on top of him, okay? And then I'm going to take these two guys, okay? And now remember, it's a two card, it's a two card so I can only activate this. For, uh, this guy can only go 10 hexes, okay, instead of 15, like he did before. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and do a landing at the caster, okay? So I have to be very careful this time, because not before. I have to make sure that all these guys are escorted. This guy is escorted. This guy is escorted because of this fellow here, okay? Um, don't want him to be able to hit me because it turns out that yes, this is isolated. This is isolated. This HQ is isolated. This HQ is isolated. This HQ is isolated. And normally they cannot um, they cannot uh, activate any land or ground uh, any intercepting forces 
But unfortunately, he has one last HQ, and that's all the way over in Oahu, and he has a, and that's Central Pacific. That is Nimitz, and it's got a honking range. He's got 25 range. So I, if I open this up and you show what 25 is, he actually reaches all the way up here. He actually reaches all the way to B. I is able to activate this fellow, and he can cause a reaction against this fellow, or a reaction against this fellow, if I had not escorted them. So, lesson learned from the last uh, from the last turn is I have to keep sure that my ha my invasion forces are escorted. So I have to be very careful that, about that from now on. Okay. So now I've got um, I've got a battle hex here. Okay. Now, he cannot react to this battle hex here. He cannot create a battle hex here because this is not within a unit, uh, an air unit, uh, enemy air unit. He has a uh, friendly air unit for him. It's not within his Azoi, so he can't do a special reaction to this as he did for here. So I don't have to worry about that. So he can only really intercept here. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. So, Oh! If I don't have to worry about that, okay, so I'm going to deactivate this. I'm not going to move this guy then, right? I don't have to, I don't have to escort this, right? Because this guy cannot be special reacted to. It's not a battle hack, so he can't react to it. So I can leave that by itself. And instead, what I'm going to react, what I'm going to reactivate is this fellow here. Okay, activate that fellow there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy as a naval unit and use something called strategic ground transport. Strategic ground transport is special transport from port to port. Um, there's a special, uh, normally as a naval unit, it's going to only move 10 hexes. But if it's a port to port, um, I can move it 20. Okay. So if I move this, to Batavia, from Seoul to Batavia, friendly port to friendly port. This actually is only 19 hexes. Okay, that's 19 hexes. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna leave the counting to you guys, but I'm just gonna leave that there. Okay, so there's one battle hex here. There's no battle hex here. I'm gonna move that there. Okay. So hopefully I did this right, and uh, should be able to. Uh... Okay, so now I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna. Turn off the uh, I'm turn off the uh, logging. I'm gonna hand it over to my opponent and see what he does about this. This is where the battle hex this is the only place where there's a battle hex, and then we will see uh, how he reacts and and all that stuff. Okay.